St. Paul is home to the largest urban Hmong population in the U.S. And the Hmong Freedom Festival around 4th of July is a time to celebrate. The community event really remarks on the advancement of the Hmong, uh, the Hmong American experience. Mi Vang grew up in Frogtown and has seen the festival grow over the years. The event dates back to 1982, starting less than a decade after the first Hmong family settled here following the Vietnam War. It really is just about the experience and being here and then sharing it with family and friends. As the event has grown larger, incidents of violence have been rare, but last year a 19-year-old was killed in a shooting police said was gang related. Now this week, police learned a letter had been placed on cars near the Mung Town Marketplace, threatening revenge for last year. Eye for eye, teeth for teeth, the letter says and it spread quickly on Facebook. The series of uh, posts in social media has been really disappointing. But St. Paul police say they're on top of it. We have a great security plan in place. Officers will have a visible presence, and the department has added extra security measures that it's keeping confidential. A private security firm will also check bags. Police are investigating the source of the threatening letter and whether it's credible. Credibility is hard to say. We take it serious. Uh, until we are able to decide that it is not. Still, organizers don't want this to scare anyone away. This event is a family-friendly event. It is something meant to share our heritage, our culture. With the added security this year, St. Paul police are asking people who come to the Hmong Freedom Festival this weekend to bring as few items as possible. They say that'll make the lines and security go a little bit quicker and make it easier for everybody. In St. Paul, I'm Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News.